The most consistent theme out of everything with Harry since Harry and Meghan, it's gone into complete overdrive over the course of the last two or three days, is that it's all about the press, the evil media. That media that directly led to his mother's death, that media who've now been fed by Buckingham Palace, because Buckingham Palace, particularly Camilla the Spinner, did not want Meghan and Harry to be too popular. So it's all the fault of the press, and he is Kelvin McKenzie, former editor of The Sun. He is the victim of all of this. He is utterly blameless. He has never done anything wrong in his life. I guess at one level, if you're a member of the royal family, the press can make your life quite tough. But, but I mean, it's, it's like politicians, isn't it, to say, you know, it's like um, saying that um, a, 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 a captain uh, blaming the sea. You, you're, you're born into this establishment position and therefore comes a scrutiny with it. Very painful, painful for you, painful for me, painful for anybody, even, even in the small way of the public eye, especially in, in private life uh, issues. You've just simply got to get on with it. What was clear in a rather poor interview by Tom Bradby mm -hmm. of the ITV, if, if I was the head of news at ITV, I'd take them to one side and say, look, mate, why don't you start asking some decent questions like, why don't you hand back your title? Or, or uh, by the way, don't come back to our country. We don't want you. What do you feel about people not liking you? Very poor interview. He should, he should hang his head in shape. Is that because he's too matey with him? Yeah, absolutely. It was his yeah. mate. How did he get the interview in the first yeah. place? Yeah. He didn't get it because, you know, there's some nasty bugger like me saying, boom, boom, boom. He got it by, now tell me, Harry, how long have you been <laughs> unwell for? Oh, have you? It's funny you should mention that. I'm unwell. What tablets are you on? Well, I'm on these ones. Who's your therapist? Oh, it's, it's Dr Tom, is it? Oh, I rather yeah. liked him. I actually preferred his sister. It is, it, so that was poor. I thought that was very poor. Um, and, of course, I, I, I often wondered whether he actually flew out to California because for the very reason that he couldn't come back to this country because, of course, he, he, I, I don't care about the weed so much, but the cocaine and all that stuff, which seemed to be fairly recent, I mean, mm. yeah, all right, it, perhaps the whole of London is full of the stuff and perhaps it, <laughs> we shouldn't be too tough on him. But going back to the, his essential point, yeah. and he was never yeah. letting this go, yeah. and he didn't let it go in the American interviews either, was that actually it was the press mm. that... Uh, right, look, his mother died under terrible circumstances, far too young, and in our country she was both a much-loved but also a much-discussed figure. Right, I quite understand that. He's 12 years old, he's mm. on the cusp. Horrible. Uh, he, he's just about to set out, and suddenly he's got no mum. And some of the points he made about having to shake hands with people, we, we didn't, he, he, he didn't want to smile. It, it was mm. his mum. I quite understand all of that stuff. But then to try and claim, well, it's the press what done it. Yeah. And also, also he, the thing he really objects to is the fact that one side of his family, he claims, were leaking against his side. Now, you're going to have Dan Witten, Dan Witten on yeah. in a second. Yeah. Now, Dan got some great royal stories, right? He's written a great piece on Man Online today about it. He will tell you that the other side were constantly rebutting and also leaking against the Charles and William axis. What he objected to was that he was the spare. And he never got to grips with that. And that will be with him for the rest of his life. And the most interesting subject matters that I notice when I'm talking to, to uh, friends and colleagues is this one. If that interview takes place in seven years' time, where will Meghan be? Hmm. Will that marriage survive? No. Because you've seen this guy and you've thought to yourself, there go, there's a balm pot. If I've ever seen a loser... That's him. He blames everybody. He's yeah. everybody's a victim. Oh, even the Nazi uniform. That wasn't yeah. that wasn't his fault. No, no. I, 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 I was. I had a choice between that and looking like Bar Bar Black Sheep. And I said to William, <laughs> "What do you think?" And they all laughed. And they said, "You should go for the Nazi." <laughs> but what about individual responsibility yeah, in all none. this? There's none. He hasn't got any of it. I'm afraid. And the other aspect, the, the, why wouldn't, why would, didn't Bradby ask him the straightforward question, if you have so much angst about your family, why don't you give up the title and set out on your well, own? And the answer to that is, you know why? 
because as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, he can make 80 million quid from the idiots at Netflix, who must yeah. say to themselves, by the way, what about this book? You didn't mention any all of All the that. good stuff's in the book. Yeah, all the, <laughs> and, and also, yeah, I've had a $5 million dollar advance from, from, from yeah. Peng, uh, Rang, Penguin Random, and, um, and that's because I am the Duke of Sussex. However, if I was Mr. Harry Windsor Esquire, yeah. right, or as somebody rather nastily yeah, said, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Harry Hewitt Esquire, it's some, that, I thought that was vile. That nasty, just, uh, no, nasty, no, below know, the belt, below the belt. It was below yeah. the belt. Yeah. And if that was it, what would he get for his book? Five pence? I agree. And would he have to pay for it? Kelvin, if I was in charge, I would disinvite him to the coronation. I would strip him of being fifth in line to the throne, having trashed this country. What mm. would you do? Uh, well, I'd be in your, I'd be in your boat. But as I understood it from Charlie Ray, a long-time yeah. royal editor, he said, "Well, that's not possible. You've got, to, you've got to pass a law." The question Pardon. is, yes, would MPs vote for that? I suspect. Right, the way they work wow. is, well, what, what, what does the voting look like? And actually, the voting in the nation basically is probably running about seventy thirty right yeah. now. Yeah. So all these, all these MPs who are basically guided by by that kind of stuff, I think they might well get. Yeah, it a I go. do. I do, I do. But we Kelvin, should ask the question. No, no, we should ask the question. Kelvin, thank you for coming on.